Are you fearful? If the answer to this question is a no, then either you don't exist or you're lying. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Avnish Mishra. If you want to know more about me, please click the link appearing here. Look, everyone fears. Fear is an emotional reaction to an instinct or an experience. It's a powerful, primitive emotion, just like sadness, laughter, or anger. Most motivational speakers and self-help gurus ridiculed fear, citing it as a biggest roadblock in your journey to success. Franklin Roosevelt went on to say, the only thing we need to fear is fear itself. Well, I'm nobody in comparison to the stature of Mr. Roosevelt, but I would like to disagree with him on this. Fear is not bad. Fear helps us deal with a dangerous situation. It also prevents us from doing stupid things. If we did not have the fear of the law of the land or public backlash, some of us might make wrong choices in life. Fear is what has kept us from being extinct. So at a most basic level, it's a survival instinct. And once we faced our fear and come out victorious, it raises our confidence to deal with such situations better in the future. So at a more evolved level, it is making us more confident and stronger. The biochemical reaction it creates in our body is similar to what occurs when we seek thrills. The rush of adrenaline and the release of cortisol when we come face to face with a dangerous situation is very similar to what happens when we prepare ourselves for an adventurous activity like bungee jumping or skydiving. Both these hormones help us survive better. So they are also called, cortisol in particular is called survival hormone. So this is good, fear is good for us. What we need to however understand where our fears emanate from. What are the consequences which make us fearful? See, it's always the consequence, it's never the situation or the thing that makes us fearful. It's not the lion that we fear. We fear becoming its lunch. It's not the fear of heights. We fear falling from there. It's not that we fear public speaking or failures. We fear that ridicule that may follow it. So you see, it's always the consequences. So if we can figure out how to manage these consequences better, we can overcome our fears easily. For example, you put a lion in the cage and you can face it fearlessly. Or when you speak in front of a crowd which is familiar and supportive, you can gradually overcome your fear of public speaking. So once you get to know how to manage the consequences to your advantage, you can overcome your fears. You can face your fears better. Thomas Hardy said, Fear is a mother of foresight. So don't evade your fears. Don't fear fear. Instead, face your fears. Embrace your fears.